eat at night before you go to bed that make you dream up these ideas. Danny, are you gonna help me or are you just gonna stand there and make fun of me? Oh, I have a choice. I'll take B. Listen, Danny, that TV show, A Vacation of the Wealthy and Well-Known, is looking for a new place to shoot. Now, I am certain that if we send them a sample video of the Bar Nun, they'll see that we're right for the show, and they'll come here to shoot one for real. Jake, think about it. Has anyone really wealthy and well-known ever come here? Well, no. I rest my case. Look, Danny, either hold up those cue cards or go rest your case someplace else. You ready to shoot one, Uncle Ben? <clears throat> ready. All right, there we go. OK, quiet. We're going in five, four, three, two, action. Good afternoon. It's another glorious day here at the plush and fabulous Barn on Ranch. I am Benjamin Ernst of the New Jersey Ernst. And if I could say only one thing to you, it would be... Flip it. That's a funny choice, Uncle Ben. No, the card. Flip the card, Danny. Come on. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, the, uh, it would be... Are we rolling? Action! It would be there's nothing like breathing in the fresh, clean, plush... Fabulous barn on air. Many's the morning we hear our fabulously wealthy guests exclaiming, Whoa, the stuff reeks. How long do you think it's been dead? Cut, cut, cut. We're shooting a TV show here. All right, one more time from the top. Action. Good afternoon. It's another glow. Oh, she's some rich guest staying at the bar none and tell about some other great vacation she went on people always do that on vacations of the wealthy and well-known jake if i was a rich guest would i be wearing this oh and i hardly think that taking long family trips in the station wagon playing count the out-of-state license plates would qualify how about you danny jake you know how i feel about this video besides my agent said no mel i'll do it oh you will ted your family takes great trips no, but unlike you guys, I have an imagination. Uh, Get that camera ready for my big entrance. All right. Jake. Focus. No. Shh. Jake. Okay. And we are rolling. Oh, Ted McGriff here. Bachelor, man about town, world traveler, and rich. Oh. Very rich. Yes, my family came over here on the Mayflower. Oh. Mom said she got very seasick. Ted, let's move it along. Come on. Oh, I'll never forget the time we were on that, uh, uh, safari, uh, in Africa, yeah, in Africa. You know, uh, elephants up to your ears, rhinos the size of hippopotamuses. And lions and tigers and bears, oh my! No heckling from the oh. sidelines, please. Okay, Ted, we're still rolling. Well, now, what was I saying? Now, look, you made me lose my train of thought. Ted, I think that train derailed a long time ago. Oh, Brad, perfect. Okay, uh, tell the little camera here about your most memorable vacation, please. Jake, can't you get someone else to do this? Yeah, I tried, and they failed me. You're in. Uh, okay, okay, let me think. Uh, oh, I don't know if this qualifies. It was kind of a last-minute thing. But one year, we went to the Winter Olympics. Oh, that qualifies. It qualifies. Uh, let's go over there. It's a little more posh next to these trees. Okay. Uh, oh, you should have seen the view from the helicopter. And the Swedish guy's 13 slogan translated to one hunkier than the next. And then one year, my family went on this excavation to Mesopotamia. It was fabulous. Of course, we had other people doing the digging for us. That's great, Brad. Cut. Cut. See, guys, at least Brad's stories are believable. Jake, 
We really did those things. That's great, Brad. Camera's off now. Uh, Chase, she's not kidding. No. I've seen pictures, thousands of pictures. Uh, Brad on a camel, Brad climbing an alp, uh, the Mona Lisa smiling at Brad. I get the picture now. Oh, by the way, Brad, uh, while I was working the front desk, your parents called. They want you to call them back. Oh, okay. Whenever. Hey, have you heard the expression, how the other half lives? Haven't you figured it out yet, Jake? Brad is the other half. Yeah. Who else gets a beautiful horse from her parents, gives it away, and then gets another beautiful horse from them to replace the first one? You mean besides Brad? I don't know. Who else? That's my point, Ted. No one else. Oh, you guys, would you give me a break, please? Brad, you've already gotten every break imaginable. Danny, not even you could spoil my good mood. It's my day off. Sir Barney was in fine form this morning. Thank you, sir. And now I'm off for some retail therapy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shopping. Brad, it's too nice of a day for mall trolling. Why don't you give your credit card today off, too? Hey, do you know that uh, department stores celebrate Brad's birthday as a legal holiday? Oh, cut it out. <laughs> I probably won't even buy anything. See you guys. See you later. Bye. They're the worst, Danny. The ones who shop for sport. Hopeless. All right, let's try it now. See if we got it working. You are kidding. <gasps> Want to see what I bought? Brad, you bought more than I own. Oh, Melody, you know, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You really need to indulge a little bit more. Brad, what I make at the bar none is what I have to spend. I can't just pull money from some bottomless pit. Do you realize how fortunate you are? Huh? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> So tell me, is there anything left at the mall? Oh, a couple of little rayon numbers. You know, they just weren't me. You know, Brad, if I didn't like you so much, I would really dislike you. There's a compliment in there somewhere, isn't there? So tell me, now that you have all this new stuff, do you plan on getting rid of any of the old stuff? No, I love stuff. The more stuff, the merrier. I get that from my father. You know his philosophy about money? If you've got it, spend it. Oh, and mine's always been, if you haven't got it, hmm. try not to want so much. Come in. Hi. Hi. Hey, Brad. Uh, Brad, did you get all that today? Yeah, but it's clothes. What's the fun in that? Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, anyway, your parents called again. They want you to call them back. Oh, thanks. Buddy, do you have a goldfish in this bed? Yep. Why? Well, see, the other day I was talking to my dad, and I told him, you know, Brad's parents got her two horses. Kind of like a hint. Uh, did it work? Meet Black Beauty. Oh. See ya. Bye. Bye, bud. Well, Mel, now it's time for my favorite part, the ceremonial cutting of the tags, which makes everything officially mine. <laughs> Want to watch? Oh, thanks, Brad, but no, really. Um, I'll wait till the movie comes out, okay? <laughs> Whatever. Look, I'm going to go uh, serve dinner. Okay, don't work too hard. Sorry, Brad, but I have to. Well, guys, my plan to make us all wealthy and well-known is going down the toilet fast. Why doesn't anybody rich stay at the bar none? Oh, gee, let's think about that one. The rooms are small, the food's not that great. You work here. Thanks a lot, pal. Oh, good, there's Brad I've been looking for. I gotta give her something. Ted, she already has everything. Hey, dude. Hi, Brad. Hey, Brad. Oh, Brad. Yeah. Do you have anything interesting planned for today? You know, like, uh... Getting gold nail tips or making little origami animals out of traveler's checks, anything like that? <laughs> Why, Jake? I need to make it look like there's something high class going on at the bar none. And once again, you seem to be my only hope. I don't know. Why don't you just follow me around for a while? We'll see what happens. Okay. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, cut it out, you guys. You're just jealous. Okay. All right, I'll admit. I wouldn't mind if my parents signed me up for the Horse of the Month Club, too. But other than that, you can keep it all. I will, Dan. Oh, Brad, before I forget, you got this telegram. Oh, great. You know, three of my friends are traveling around the world this summer. I bet it's from now. Well, hold it. Hold it. Okay, this will be great for the video. Oh. Uh, opening a telegram is a high-class thing. Okay, uh, so let me focus. Thanks, Brad. I knew you'd fill me out here. Okay. Miss Bradley Taylor of the plush and fabulous Bar Nun Ranch opening a telegram. Mm -hmm. Brad, could you be a little more animated than that? This is a video, not a snapshot. Shut it off, Jake. Why? Shut the camera off, Jake! Brad, what does it say? None of your business. What's the matter? Did Muffy and Buffy and Biff fall off a gondola? <laughs> you want to know what happened? I'll tell you what happened. My father lost his job! My family is broke! Are you happy? 